So, is CO2 polar or nonpolar? Let's start with the Lewis structure. We can see from the Lewis structure we have an O2 here double bonded to the carbon and we have the exact same thing over here. So they look symmetrical. The Lewis structure doesn't always give you a perfect picture of the molecular geometry. But in this case we can see that we have the same thing on both sides. Let's take a look at the CO2 molecule in three dimensions. So here we have the carbon in the center and the oxygens on either side. So our Lewis structure is accurate. This is a linear molecule, double bonds between the carbons and the oxygens. Each side is the same. It's symmetrical. Let's take a look at the molecular surface, at the electrostatic potential for the molecule. We can see that here we have blue, which is negative, and then red, which is positive. So even though we have a negative here and a negative here, these two sides are symmetrical. They cancel out. And because they cancel out, it's a nonpolar molecule. So CO2 is a nonpolar molecule because of the symmetrical nature of those two oxygens double bonded to the carbon. If we look at another molecule, HCN, this is a very different situation. They're not symmetrical. We have a different thing on either side. If we look at the molecular surface for HCN, you can also see there's a big difference. We have a very negative side here and a positive side here. So this is going to be a polar molecule because of the difference. So back to our Lewis structure again, we can say now CO2 is a nonpolar molecule because this side of the molecule is the same as this side. They are symmetrical. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.